press and tune to the source. W-O-C-A. Thank you. Uh, it is uh, five minutes after 8 o'clock, 47 degrees here at the studios of The Source. Just a beautiful Thursday morning. Cool. It's going to remain cool today, only getting into the uh, mid-60s today. Uh, maybe 70 in some places, I guess. It's not so unusual that could happen. Uh, but really a kind of a cool, beautiful weekend ahead of uh, ahead uh, today, tomorrow, and the next two days. And after that, looks pretty good. Galen Unold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry, Robin. How are y'all? Pretty good. Any, anything we need to know about the uh, the tornadoes in the, in the southeast, not just here in Florida? Yeah, yeah thankfully, um, it, it, no real damage was done yeah, uh, good. to us, to our, to our blood centers. That's going to impact our collections or anything. So um, on that side, it's good. I mean, there was some damage, but uh, uh, no real loss of life that I could find in Alabama. Um, so, yeah, everything's good. Everything's very good. Well, that's that's good news. Yeah, yeah. I know those folks up in the Panhandle, well, not just the Panhandle, but in the, the the area that got hit. I know they have to rebuild their homes or or fix Absolutely. them if they're if they're fixable. Yeah, yeah. but but at least nobody died. Absolutely. Sounds like that's correct. Um, okay, interesting topic. I was not looking for a topic for you. Sometimes I go crazy looking for something I think you'll enjoy and that we can <laughs> talk about. And this one just jumped out at me without. It was last night, but even before I started looking. Um, why do humans have different blood types and other unanswerable questions about our bodies? A fascinating little article I found on MSN, I think, msnbc.com or whatever it is, MSN. Okay. Uh, but before we do that, let me ask you, uh, how is the blood supply? What do we need to know? Um, again, we're, we're right at about a little over a two-day blood supply, so we just need people to continue to get, to donate so we can catch up and... Um, get out there and make a difference and, and save a life today and take 30 minutes and save a life that's not that difficult to do yeah it's a beautiful day just take a just take a moment just a half an hour every two weeks i mean two months mm -hmm. every two months a half hour think about mm -hmm. it that's what you that's what you can do right let's go to the phone real quick and then i'll tell you who the sponsors are good morning you're on the air good morning um well i definitely agree with saving a life i just saw there's an accident on uh, northeast jacksonville road where a motorcycle is pretty much demolished and there's a blanket over it it appears to be a dead person on the road so oh, I'm saying man. everybody even though the tornado's not hitting here slow down take your time you know leave earlier for work it's not a rush you know save somebody's life and uh you know wear a helmet if you have a motor if you're on a motorcycle i mean i've never understood that why people don't wear helmets but you know it looks appears like someone dead on northeast jacksonville road in the intersection oh my goodness all right thank you for letting us know all right bye now that's sad right there. Well, sometimes helmets shatter in accidents, and, you know, you don't really see the helmet. Yeah, yeah. Until all, it's all done. Do we still have uh, that? Do we still the have helmet that? shatters, and it's, a, it, it's bad. I mean, it, that's, that's pretty hard to do. You could take a hammer to a DOT helmet, and it won't shatter. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, do we still have the thing on, on the WOCA side that we can look to see the... the uh, Highway Patrol. Oh, here it is. I, I don't know. I, I found it. Okay, good. I found it. Yeah. Oh wow, there's a lot of accidents right now in our our area. Um. All right. That's crazy. That's that's so sad, isn't it? It's very sad. It's and and the uh, gentleman had a has a really really good point. I mean, gosh, I I just don't understand how come people are just so crazy driving and they don't care about human life. So it's a it says on the highway patrol on the highway patrol side, there's a vehicle crash, and Mar Marion Oaks, a, a hit and run crash, in at uh, Northeast thirty one hundred thirty fifth Street and County Road three fifteen in Fort McCoy. Hmm. There was a white van that passed me on the way today. We got three lanes of traffic. We're going. Uh, you know, coming into Ocala on 200 and all three lanes. And I was in the middle. I had a car on my right, a car on my left. And this white van came right up behind the car on my left. And then he zipped into my, and we're doing 50, 55. And that's the speed limit is 50. And so he zips behind me and I'm not moving. And he zipped in, and the car in front yeah. of me was going to move to the right of me. He had his blinker on. He was starting to move. And this van just went around me, beeped at the guy in front of me, made him stay in, in my lane and came, you know, and cut him off. I thought, oh, my God, he's going to hit him. And just by the grace of God, he didn't hit him. And this guy's in a white van. And he was horrible. Just And there were no, you know, 
officers around and just horrible so i just pray that whoever gets next to him that he doesn't cause him to die good morning you're on the air Good morning. To be exact, uh, my driver just brought w brought me in through that intersection. It's at, it's on Jacksonville Road, at, down by that school, the elementary school there, uh, oh. on the corner of Northeast Twenty Eighth and Jacksonville Road. Um, fire trucks and everything, and the traffic and everything is backed up there. Okay. So if any, anybody has to go through there, my driver was telling me the the uh, traffic is really backed up, so you can't go through there. And unfortunately, it's right there with all those kids are, go are going across there to the school and having around about that time. Oh. My goodness. Thank you, Lenny. Appreciate the... Okay. The that's Hope Crest Elementary School. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, oh, that's... A, okay. Wow. Do you know who Alex Jones is, Galen, the, the TV commentator? Sure. Okay. Yeah. He's, kind He's of, the uh, conspiracy guy. Conspiracy guy, for sure. Somehow, I'm, you know that YouTube goes to a rabbit hole thing? So, yeah. so I don't have a remote control for my computer. So sometimes I just put something on, like Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon, just something <laughs> fun, and it'll roll over to things. You say, "Oh gosh, I don't want to watch this," and and then I got to get up and stop it. But because I, I don't have a real TV. But anyway, so I I was watching it. It rolled over to Alex Jones last night, and he's he's, he's ranting about how, the, how how about the government, how the Bildenbergers or whatever w want us all to have cars that drive themselves because it's a conspiracy don't allow it to happen re re remain uh, d diligent whatever to mm -hmm. re refuse to have oh your car gosh. driven by anybody but yourself they're going to control <laughs> all of us gosh it's crazy i love that kind of crazy <laughs> he's got his purpose. i mean i love driving don't get me wrong but i'm not so crazy about other people's driving no <laughs> no not at all <laughs> <laughs> Take care of you. All right, all right. That's what I say. Uh, the important message of donating blood is, has been underscored in a way we never could have done just by those two phone calls. And our prayers certainly go out to the family of whoever it is that was in that accident. Um, and to the people themselves who were in the accident. Uh, those who survive and, and will need blood won't get that blood if we don't donate it. That's mm. Galen's message. That's it right there. And uh, we couldn't even do that message if it wasn't for our great sponsors. So thank them. It's just so important. Uh, it's probably the most important sponsorship of the whole broadcast day. Yes, it is. Is this one right here. Pen yeah, Flooring Pen Flooring and Palm Garden. Uh, I know we have fun with Galen, but you just those two phone calls right there. I mean, that's enough to make me want to not do the, the fun, silly stuff, but, but I will. Oh, it's not. It's not silly today. It's it's very educational, actually. It's yeah. uh, you know questions, but anyway, Pen Flooring. Thank you for sponsoring this segment. Uh, go to Pen Flooring. They have a showroom at twelve hundred one Southwest Seventeenth Street, over the McKay Williams Bridge on Seventeenth, uh, just a few blocks from Pine Avenue. And thank the folks at Palm Garden. They provide long term and skilled nursing care, respite care, uh, rehabilitation, and uh, all of your questions you may have are answered simply by going there. Mm -hmm. Go to Palm Garden, and uh, they will give you a tour and answer all of your questions. So why do we have different blood types? Galen, what's your answer to that question? Uh, God said we should. Um, th 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 that's the truth. And, and I, you know, I've heard everything from uh, the way that man o originated in each section of the, of the world. Um, you know, there were supposedly six tribes and then each tribe had its own blood blood uh, type I've heard that before uh, so I don't know there is no there is no answer to it um, but yeah that's that's just kind of the way it is I guess hmm. uh, I like that answer the the, la actually. the last let's see it says uh, scientists have found that those with blood type B, might be more likely to be bothered by E. coli, while those who aren't part of the Duffy blood group are close to immune to one of one form of malaria. What is the Duffy blood group, Galen? Well, okay. Um, it, Duffy is a, it's just a subcategory, and it's a coating that that is on your 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 body. So, as you can imagine, malaria is a huge issue in in countries in which mosquitoes are are prevalent, right? Um, you know, in Africa and, and, and even in parts of Latin America. So what the body did is it, 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 it adapted to overcome this, and that's where sickle cell actually comes from. Because the, the malaria attacks your red cells, and then the sickle cell is a way to defense yourself against malaria. 
so and then sickle cell just went too far uh mm-hmm. it's just that when you're when your body takes that adaptation too far uh yeah the duffy is just a it's a coating on the red cell itself so it it, it we find out new things about what's in our blood every day every day i mean it's isn't that amazing wow our, our our knowledge is constantly increasing on on what exactly is our blood type and and what that means and and uh everything else so it's uh yeah it's fascinating so is sickle cell on a downtrend now because of all the research no oh it's absolutely not. not oh he, there's no cure for sickle cell you know and and that's something that's that uh, not nearly enough money is put into. There's no cure for it. Oh. Um, the only the only thing you can do is manage the symptoms. And one of the main things of, of managing that symptom is actually getting a blood transfusion. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we work with probably more sickle cell patients than any other blood center in the country. Maybe aside from the Red Cross, we, we're actually... Uh, have a program that we're with working with with the CDC right now. Wow! Uh, who actually help uh, diagnose the, the what is the best treatment for sickle cell patients? So we're doing that through our our partnership with the Children's Hospital of Atlanta. It's something I've worked on for the last two or three years. I, I, I'm a I'm a big proponent of sickle cell awareness, and um, you know it, it's something that we can stop just by if people are aware that they're carrying the sickle cell. So. Hmm. Gosh. Yeah. All right, let's take a, a break, and I have some more unanswerable questions about our bodies. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe you have yeah, some like theories. We'll take a break and be right back. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Sunshine for the most part today. Windy and cooler with a high of 63 to 67. Clear and cold Thursday night with lows ranging from the upper 30s in a few windland spots to the mid 40s at the coast. Sunny but cool on Friday, the high 62 to 66. And on Saturday, mostly sunny, still cool, high 64 to 68. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. We are saving thousands with Robert Palmer. Uh, so yeah, so rule number one is always shop around. Always shop around. If you're trying to get a mortgage, if you're trying to get the best credit card, if you're looking at student loans, cell phone bills, you name it, rule number one is always shop around. Always shop around. That's rule number one, just one more vital part of fighting back to stop being a financial zombie. Yes, you can take the mystery out of the complicated world of finances, take charge when it comes to your money. Listen in on The Source, 96.3 FM and 1370 AM, Saturdays at 12.05. Palm Garden wants to get to the heart of the matter. If you've been in the hospital as a cardiac patient, maybe you have a pacemaker or congestive heart failure or an arrhythmia, or perhaps you're a heart bypass patient, then consider Palm Garden as your rehab choice. With proven outcomes, second to none, Palm Garden fixes broken hearts. Call today at 854-6262. That's 854-6262. So you need a credit card, but how do you choose? Let's compare the big banks to Florida Credit Union. They have rewards, and we do too. They have customer service, hello, 24-7. They have celebrities, hey, Danny. But with Florida Credit Union, there's no annual fee, no liability for fraudulent charges, and no 22% interest rates. Choose Florida Credit Union, and you'll not only have a great credit card, but you'll have the support and personal touch that the big banks, well, can't touch. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Federally insured by the NCUA. Hey Ocala, this is Kelly Hart, executive editor of Ocala Magazine. Did you know last year Ocala Magazine won more awards and excellence than any other publication in Florida? And this year, Ocala Magazine was named best consumer magazine in the state. Now you can join me every Friday at 10 a.m. on Ocala Magazine Radio, where we bring the pages of Ocala Magazine to life, right here on The Source. Ocala Magazine thanks you for making us number one. And remember, there is only one Ocala Magazine. W-O-C-A W-O-C-A AM 1370 96.3 96.3 FM 
your source for the number one sports weekend, Fox Sports, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM. All right. Uh, thank you for tuning in. 20 minutes after 8 o'clock, Galen Newnold is on the phone from Life South Community Blood Center. It is 47 degrees. Be careful out there. It's a beautiful day. There's no reason There's no reason for accidents, to, uh, for most of the part, unless it's mechanical failure, but most of the time it's somebody not looking. And uh, we just had a call earlier, if you weren't listening, from a couple of listeners who said there was a, it sounds like a motorcycle accident. It sounds it doesn't sound good for whoever was no. on the bike. So it's the it's one of the reasons we talk about donating blood. All right, so we have a, a, an interesting topic. Uh, it is titled, Why Do Humans Have Different Blood Types and Other Unanswerable Questions About Our Bodies? So the next one is, why do we have fingerprints? Scientists don't know why we have fingerprints. <laughs> yeah, and why they're all, every one of them is unique. There's, um, you know, my, my son, he, he's actually... Uh, talk, he talks about he, he's a, he wants to be a prosecutor and talks about criminal justice all the time and so he's like dad it's just a blend of your parents and I said no it's not completely true so hmm. yeah hmm. kind of cool well now the next one is going to upset some people I think uh in spite of what you might be hearing on advertisements of probiotics scientists don't really know what probiotics do <laughs> really <laughs> Uh, That's what it says yes, here. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It says many of the probiotics yeah. in use um, were used because of their shelf life and not necessarily because they were best for our bodies. Uh, they, they don't do any harm, but scientists are just beginning to work on unraveling what specific health benefits each good bacterium has. Wow. That's, That's fascinating. fascinating. Right. They know you need that good bacteria. They just don't know why you need it. Yes. Hmm. They suspect that if they can determine the purpose of all of the various good bacteria that end up in humans, they may be able to answer all kinds of other questions and treat many diseases. Solving this riddle will yep. likely be a long journey. Wow. Mm. All right, another thing we don't know about our bodies. Does, oh, this is a gross one. Does the body oh. remain oh. active following decapitation? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you asking? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, how do you do that? Chickens do. We we had this uh, uh, discussion <laughs> last do. night about chickens. You you cut off their head and their body runs around. The body does. Yeah. And so do snakes. But th no, but this is not asking that. This is asking about the head. Does the brain remain active? Not does the body. Oh, does the brain? Oh. Do Dr. Gabriel Barrow, a researcher. Um, let's see. Uh, Let's see, he was in France, I guess, during the Revolution era. Okay, so anyway, he went to the, the what do you call the guillotines? After calling the decapitated man's name several times, he, okay, he went, he, went to, he, went to a de, he went to a guillotine thing. Okay. And the, heads, the guy's head was in the basket. Execution. Ex, thank yeah. you. And he said, hey, hey, Henry, Henry. <laughs> and Henry opened his eyes and looked at him. <clears throat> And then closed his eyes and died. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, oh, oh <laughs> it's crazy. Oh. That was probably an involuntary. Uh, it could be, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, but the question is unanswered. Does it remain active after the? <laughs> no, I don't want to answer that. No, no, I, I, don't, no, I, I, I don't want yeah, to have I mean, studies you know. done. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Yeah. Here's, a, here's another one. Ask? ISIS? I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We'll decapitate all the funny. ISIS guys and see. We'll use them right. as guinea That's pigs. Right. That's right. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> all right, here's another one. Uh, this is also going to upset some people who sell things online. Scientists don't really know if humans have pheromones. <laughs> really? <laughs> pheromones. Huh? Pheromone. I thought they were pheromones. Well, heck, Larry, half the topics we cover are pheromone related. <laughs> do you, I know. Do you, do you, how do you pronounce it? Pheromones? P H E R O. Pheromones. Uh, anyway, anyway. Well, today we have five sex languages, so we'll yeah. ask the guy. <laughs> uh, there you go. Scientists don't know if yeah, human funny. beings have pheromones. You're right. That's two of the sex languages. What are they? <laughs> yes. You're right. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, that's right. Oh, uh -uh, I will do that right now. <laughs> uh, scientists have wondered if we have Here's if a the big piece of jewelry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what you're going to talk to the guy about. Right. <laughs> 
Scientists. Oh, those don't, that doesn't make your pants look, your butt look big. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Galen's got it down. Pat, I like you. Been married a long time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I guess they've. I guess they've done studies. I was trying to read while you guys were talking. It, 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 it sounds like yeah, it's it's too long. Yeah, yeah, about the pheromones. It sounds like I'll just uh, paraphrase. It sounds like they did studies where they put all these pheromones in a room with the men who didn't realize that they were there. Uh huh. And <laughs> no reactions. <laughs> <laughs> well, men are visual. They just kept doing. It. Well, that's what I'm thinking. They're yeah, visual. You, that's how we're built. That's that's <laughs> exactly. how we're hardwired. <laughs> well, you know, it all goes back to the table, Larry. <laughs> The table. table. Oh, that's right. My table theory. <laughs> yes. We have. We, <laughs> that's right. Hold on. We have a phone call. Good morning. You're on the air. Uh, good morning, uh, Larry Robin Hey, uh, Doug. Doug, how are you, sir? Uh, I just want to uh, ask this question. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> do uh, uh, raccoons have like? Um, the blood uh, uh, to cure uh, sickle cell? No. <laughs> Raccoons have a cure for sickle cell? No. <laughs> no. Good question. No. That's, that's a good one. That's a good uh, question. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Blood, no animal blood is compatible with human blood. Uh, mm -hmm. Any type. Yeah, raccoons. Yeah. Right. All right. Thank right. you. For, that was interesting. Wow. Who, who, who? Very, I know. That was a cool that was a question. Good, that was a good question, Doug. Thank you for calling yeah, it thank in. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. No No. No. Uh, animal, and the Lord knows the, the history of man we've tried, no animal blood is uh, compatible with humans. Yeah, that's a good question. So. Uh, scientists do not know the next thing. What happens when someone is struck by lightning? They don't really know what happens to us. It hurts like heck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they know that. You get a new hairdo. They, they're not sure what happens. I'll just leave it at that. The next one is, sad how could a happens. woman not know she is pregnant? Uh, Apparently, we don't know the answer to this. Quite a bit. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, I mean, it happens. Yeah, I, I, I think they uh, know. they just running from the truth. Well, that's a theory, but but it giving them benefit of the doubt. Scientists don't know well, how. I guess, in, I guess if you're, you know, before you've reached puberty, I guess there's a possibility. You know what I mean? You haven't had one of those yet. I don't know. Yeah. I don't understand women at all, Larry. You're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Doctors are in trouble for what I said. Right. Doctor Doctor Sabrina Doctor Sabrina Sukan. Uh, doc this is a doctor. She had a healthy weight. She knew a lot about medicine. She knew all of the signs, but she gave birth and did not know she was pregnant. So even a doctor. That is, I just, I wonder if like, uh, I don't know. I guess you were, if you were thinking you were hit menopause, I don't know. Hmm. That might be the only time I would think. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't. Uh, let's wow. see. The, the, here's another thing we this don't is know, deep. we don't know about our bodies. <laughs> um, there's, there's so many things on here. Okay, here's another one. Uh, how, why do we have three ear bones? Scientists don't know why Four we have be too many, and two is just not enough structure. <laughs> to hold a headset. <laughs> That's right. Hold a headset. <laughs> uh, the best theory why we have a third ear bone involves a strange disease called semicircular canal dehiscence, hiscence or something. Mm -hmm. The disease can lead to a decrease in tissue in the ear canal, which has caused people to hear distracting sounds they normally don't perceive, like their own heartbeat. The doctor suggests that perhaps the third ear bone is meant to minimize those effects. Other animals. Uh, reptiles and birds only have two ear bones. Oh. But humans have three. We are descendants of aliens, that's why. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Listen to Alex oh, Jones. I, I, I will tell you this. I will tell you this. I did, ha I, I did have somebody email me the theory is that the blood types were all alien races. <laughs> this is an alien race. I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Gail, where's the blood mobile today? You can have this discussion today with your phlebotomist. Oh, gosh, it happens all the time. Um, yeah, feel free to bring it up and listen to our phlebotomist theory. But, uh, <laughs> today we're at Lake Weir Middle. We're, we're pretty excited. Uh, 
it's our first time we've been out there, and um, we, we did some education over the, the last week or so. Hey, and Jessica's about out the there. the importance of donating blood. And, yeah. Um, it, it, we're really curious to see what kind of turnout. We don't typically get a great turnout at middle schools. But you might get blood from my daughter-in-law. <laughs> might get blood from Alex's yeah, I wife. hope so. All right. and, and, and again, this weekend we have a, a huge uh, event at our center. The uh, Parrot Club is going to be cooking hot dogs and hamburgers and... Uh, looking forward to that that'll be a good time all right. oh the, nice the parent club out. all right we, no, we're lunch. running late again we gotta go we'll take a uh, break we'll be right back thank you again have a great day all right you guys are the best we'll, Bye, we'll be right back virginia are mourning the loss of a two-year-old child and two men a man in appomattox county was also killed fox radio's tanya j powers dozens were hurt and many homes and businesses were destroyed in essex 